All right, so in this video, we're going to be finding a parametric equation for the intersection of two surfaces. So let's consider we have an equation, z is equal to the square root of 16 plus x squared minus y squared. And we want to intersect that with the plane z is equal to 1 plus x. And so we're going to set our two z equations equal to each other. And so we're going to have our square root here equal to 1 plus x. So in order to get rid of the square root, we're going to square both sides. And if I square 1 plus x, Again, you can't distribute powers, you have to FOIL. So you get 1 plus 2x plus x squared. And we can see that our x squared are going to cancel. And so now what I'm going to try to do is solve for one of my variables. Um, which one you end up solving for is just going to depend on um, how the algebra works out. But in this case, I have an x that is linear and an x squared that is not, so I'm going to solve for x. Um, and if I solve for, let's say, 2x, then I move the 1 over to the other side, I'm going to get 15. I dropped my minus sign. 15 minus y squared. And then I'm going to divide everything by 2. I'm going to get x equals 15 over 2 minus 1 half y squared. Now, once I have one, one, a single variable in terms of the other variable, I can say let y equal t. And so then once I do that, I can let x equal 15 over 2 minus 1 half y squared in terms of uh, t. And then I can also solve for z. Now, my original z was in terms of x. So it'll be 1 plus my expression for x. And that's going to give me 17 over 2 minus 1 half t squared. And so now my parameterized intersection of surfaces is going to be my x expression in terms of t, comma, my y expression in terms of t, which is just t, and then my z expression in terms of t, which is that. And so now I could uh, say things about the curve that these two functions intersect on. Um, I could follow the curve in space. Now, it's worth noting um, that when you are doing this, sometimes you will get um, expressions that are not necessarily this straightforward. You may get examples where, for instance, you can't actually readily solve for either x or y because you've got an x squared and a y squared, for instance. Um, so think about how you would do parameterizations in those cases. You might have to, for instance, um, use uh, x is r squared, r cosine theta, and y is r sine theta, for instance, in order to do that parameterization of that curve. And then your final curve would have expressions of t involving um, sines and cosines instead of just polynomial expressions like this one. 